Today, the NBA regular season officially started with the New Orleans Pelicans facing the defending champs, the Toronto Raptors, and the battle for Los Angeles between the Lakers and the Clippers took place at the Staples Center. Now, the Pelicans versus Raptors game was back and forth for all four quarters, with the Pelicans reaching an 11-point lead at one point. Uh, the Pascal Siakam had an amazing game, finishing with 34 points, 18 rebounds, and 5 assists. Fred Van Vliet had 34 points as well, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 steals. Kyle Lowry also chipped in with 22 of his own points, as well as 5 rebounds and 6 assists. Now for the Pelicans, Brandon Ingram led all scorers, finishing with 22 points in his regular season debut. JJ Redick hit 4 3-pointers and finished with 16 points. And Josh Hart led his team in rebounding, whilst also finishing with a double-double, 15 points and 10 rebounds. The game ended up going into overtime with the Raptors showed they were still a force to reckon with, taking the Pelicans down 130 to 122. Moving on to the Lakers and Clippers game, although the game didn't go into overtime like the Raptors Pelicans game, it certainly was not a letdown. The Lakers took an early lead in the first quarter, reaching an 11 point lead. However, the Clippers fought back in the second quarter, scoring 40 points and taking the lead back. Kawhi Leonard showed why he's a top player in this league, scoring 30 points, pulling in six rebounds and dishing out five assists. Assists. Pat Bev didn't record many points with only two, however, pulled down 10 rebounds, which was a team high. Uh, now, off the bench, Lou Williams scored 21 points and finished with seven assists. The Lakers also had some high scorers, with Danny Green showing why he deserves his place on the team, finishing with 28 points and hitting seven three pointers. Anthony Davis had a double double, finishing the game with 25 points and 10 rebounds. LeBron played well tonight, finishing with 18 points, nine rebounds, and eight assists. Uh, now the major difference in this game was the Lakers effort in the fourth quarter, especially in terms of Anthony Davis and LeBron. They only scored two points between them in the entire quarter. Uh, this really shows how powerful the Clippers team can truly be, even without Paul George in the lineup. Uh, now the Clippers hold on to winning 112 to 102.